Thanks, Alan. One in five people here in Metro Detroit struggles to put food on the table but you can help make a difference. And joining us this morning is Susan Goodell, the CEO of Forgotten Harvest. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. It's great to be here. Thank you. So millions of people all over the, the, the country and quite a few people here in much of Detroit struggle with, with putting enough food on the table to feed not only themselves but also their families. That's correct. Um, over 50 million people in the United States suffer from hunger and food insecurity. And we're here today to bring awareness to that, to the one in five people here that suffer with hunger in Metro Detroit, one in four if you look at children, and in the city of Detroit itself is actually one in two children are hungry. Wow. So what can people do to, to make sure that our, that our friends, our neighbors, that our people in our community don't have to struggle with something that seems so basic for a lot of people? There are many things that people can do. This is Hunger Awareness Month, and many of us are wearing orange to bring attention to the issue, and we're asking people to please uh, help Forgotten Harvest to go online at www.forgottenharvest.org to look at the many ways that you can get involved in addressing hunger. Uh, one of the key ways this month is certainly volunteering in our facility to pack food for people in need, working on our firm, bringing in the harvest, but also participating in the Hunger Challenge at Ford Motor Company. This month, up to $50,000 board will match dollar for dollar. All right, and they can find the information on how to donate at the website. As That's well. correct. All right. Um, what are some other ways people can, can help? And also, I think that maybe you're fighting um, misperceptions some people would have that while well, the people who um, can't afford food, they're, they're irresponsible in some sort of way. I mean, there are lots of, of, of perceptions out there that may not be based in fact. So tell us the, the average person who, who you guys help, what mm -hmm. is that person struggling with exactly? What has put him or her in that position? Many of the people that we help are elderly or children or the working poor. People often fall into poverty due to issues like health care, and if there's an ill person in the family, very quickly the medical bills will drag many people into poverty. So it's a wide re uh, range of reasons that people find themselves unable to feed themselves and their children. But I think it's also um, misunderstood that people um, who are dependent on the government program, SNAP, otherwise known as food stamps, um, are only have four dollars and fifty cents a day in which to feed themselves and so we're asking many people to consider taking the snap challenge and see how how difficult it is to actually feed yourself or your child a healthy meal on four dollars and fifty cents a day that's three meals for four dollars and fifty cents mm -hmm. it's, uh, sounds almost impossible it, it truly is <laughs> to have a healthy diet it is nearly impossible to do it on that kind of, of uh, a budget. Right, and so the month is early, so people still have a lot of time, but of course time is of the essence, so go to the website. And of course, we'll put that information on our website at myfoxdetroit.com to make sure that people in our community and in our country are not struggling with hunger. Thank you so much. Thank you for your help. Appreciate it. Okay.